that we are hoping that we will be able to uh, become EBITDA break even uh, this year for mobile business. But at the same time, mobile business is uh, generating tremendous synergy uh, with other businesses. So uh, we have to be, uh, you know, uh, measure not just uh, simply directly from uh, mobile uh, business how much we are making, how much we are losing, but we also need to consider how much, uh, you know, uh, extra synergy effect it is generating for our other services. Yeah, and in terms of the subscriber number you're targeting, in terms of where you believe that this business is going to become profitable, where do you see that? Well, we have been talking about somewhere between eight and nine million. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And in terms of continuing to reinvest in the mobile business, is there any more uh, plans to to sell down any further stakes in some of your other businesses, or, or issue new ca issue new shares in any way to fund the mobile business? Well, I do not believe that uh, we have planned to issue new shares, uh, and uh, definitely, uh, if it makes sense, then uh, we'd like to maybe list some companies to the public. Uh, keep a good relationship and control, uh, and but we do not have any plan to divest uh, any businesses at this point, uh, and I don't feel it's necessary. And there, and you said you know considering if required, you could list some more businesses. Are there any businesses you're targeting to list at the moment? Well, I, I don't think we can we can disclose those kinds of information at this point. Yeah. But uh, you know if you think about the uh, Rakuten Bank, uh, which we listed public. Uh, it is doing extremely well. Obviously, uh, we can bring in more stronger corporate governance and uh, you know accountability and autonomy uh, to the business. So it's not just about giving up some ownership of the uh, some business, but it has a huge upside as well by doing so. Mickey, the big theme here at MWC, AI. Everyone is talking about it. When we spoke quite recently, you discussed and talked about the way that Rakuten was developing its own large language models uh, uh, as well. What's the latest on that development? So uh, definitely we have started to introduce some of uh, our AI-based uh, services uh, for commerce. Uh, we announced uh, the big strategy, AI strategy for our e-commerce business in Japan, uh, and what I put into my my uh, you know uh, team is that uh, we need to achieve three things. Mm -hmm. One is uh, improve our uh, productivity and efficiency uh, by 20 percent, including coding and everything, uh, and generating content. Uh, and the second is we wanted to improve our marketing efficiency uh, by 20 percent. And then the third is we would like to empower our merchants, clients uh, by 20%. And we are making a very concrete uh, KPI to be measured uh, so that we are not just talking about AI, but actually implementing it and directly coming down to the financial results. And when, in what ways do you see your investments in AI filtering through to your financial results? How is, is this on a on a service model, on a subscription model? How do you see that coming through? Well, we have two sides, right? Upside and uh, cost control. The cost control is already happening in a tremendous way. Uh, for example, customer service. We are introducing AI-based chatbot, so we do not need to uh, you know, outsource so much uh, customer service anymore. AI will take place. The, uh, for example, consulting service for a merchant. We are introducing AI to teach what our merchants should do, so forth and so forth. For uh, the actual uh, upside uh, for ads and for our UX experience, we, we are already making a very significant uh, advancement, I think. Yeah. So if investors are watching, you know, when, when do you think that AI will begin to really move the needle? on well, your financial results. You see, have seen that how much uh, the cost of optimization we made last year. I was tremendous. So just for uh, mobile, mm -hmm. uh, we used a 16 billion yen or about, uh, oh, how much is it? <laughs> I need to calculate it. Almost uh, $100 million per month. So it's uh, $1.2 billion a year. And a big chunk of it is coming from the introduction of AI.